Detroit City Council President Pro Tem George Cushingberry Jr. and Detroit Cops, all part of an investigation as we follow new developments in a Tuesday night traffic stop. Also new tonight, the councilman may see his city hall paycheck shrink because of other legal trouble. 7 Action News investigator Jim Kirshner joins us live. And uh, Jim, what did you uncover? Carolyn and Stephen Cushenberry has been on the job only 10 days. Within days, his paycheck could shrink because of these. Check it out. Court records in Wayne County show two writs for garnishment filed just this week, one for $13,000, the other for $23,000. In one of these cases, Cushenberry, an attorney, was involved in legal malpractice. There was a consent judgment in which he agreed to pay and then did not. And going back to 2002, Cushenberry was barred from being appointed in probate court cases in Wayne County as a conservator because of mishandling of funds. He's not been back since. Now, on two Tuesday, Cushenberry was at a bar with a friend on the west side when they were stopped by the cops who smelled marijuana inside their car, then found an open liquor bottle. They called for a supervisor. That's protocol. Cushenberry has since said he was stopped because he was black, but the police chief says the two officers involved, one is black, one is Hispanic or Middle East. The sergeant who showed up at the scene is black. There's an internal investigation because Cushenberry left with only a ticket for not signaling for a turn. He's under investigation by the city's uh, inspector general's office for his conduct. Other city council members say this is a distraction we do not need. I don't know that this is a scandal. What I know is that President Pro Tem received a ticket for failure to signal. And the rest I know is that the police chief is investigating. No matter what happens individually, it does reflect on the entire council. So we either uh, succeed or we fail, you know, together because we are a body. It's really important, especially right now uh, in this city where we've just come through so many trials and tribulations based on, you know, public integrity and corruption. Now, the police chief will not discuss a lot of specifics about the case until the internal investigation is over. We were told there was dash cam video, but we were told here late this afternoon that malfunctioned. That is not part of the case. The sergeant is not suspended. The inspector general, when he completes that investigation, that will go to the mayor, the city council, and most importantly, the emergency manager. Stephen, Carolyn. All right, Jim, thank you for that update on that story. We will keep watching that one, of course.